Okay. Charlie's busy right now, Rose. I know. White Toyota hasn't budged an inch two nights in a row. I chalked her tires. That's, uh, that's very insightful and disturbing. Uh, you're not thinking you and me, are you? Oh, Alan, <laughs> that's very flattering, but <laughs> ew. So, uh, what brings you here, Mom? Do I need a reason? I'd like one. <laughs> I'm showing a house in Malibu. I thought I'd swing by and take my grandson out for pancakes. Uh, Charlie wants his on his night table. <laughs> Go put on some pants, Charlie. But, Mom, I... Now. You have to be firm with him. By the way, your nose is adorable. Thank you. I'm guessing Dr. Shapiro. No, it's mine. Oh. Well, well sometimes God does good work too. Welcome back to English Fluency Mission YouTube channel, where you learn English with movies and American TV shows. Hi everyone, my name is Steve, and I'm your English Fluency Coach. Today's video is lesson two from the American TV show, Two and a Half Men. In this video lesson, you're going to learn 10 new words and phrases. If you haven't subscribed yet and enjoying our videos, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss the upcoming video notifications. So without further ado, let's jump into the topic. Howdy, neighbor. Howdy is an informal friendly greeting, particularly associated with the Western U.S. states. It also means, how do you do? For example, howdy, stranger. Howdy, neighbor. Howdy, folks. When did you all get here? Charlie's busy right now, Rose. I know. White Toyota hasn't budged an inch two nights in a row. I chalked her tires. Budge is a verb, and if someone or something does not budge, it will not move. If you cannot budge them, you cannot make the move. For example, her mother refused to budge from London. Means, her mother refused to move from London. Next. The window did not budge an inch. This means the window did not move an inch. Last. My car has not budged since January 2020. Means, my car has not moved a little bit and parked in a particular location since January 2020. Chalk is a verb that means, to write something with a piece of chalk. For example. She said in the clip. I chalked her tires. This means, she has drawn a circle around the tires, and if the tire budges an inch, then she will come to know about it. Charlie's busy right now, Rose. I know. White Toyota hasn't budged an inch two nights in a row. I chalked her tires. That's, uh, that's very insightful and disturbing. Uh, you're not thinking you and me, are you? Oh, Alan, <laughs> that's very flattering, but <laughs> ew. <laughs> Insightful as an adjective means showing a clear and usually original understanding of a complicated problem or situation. It also means having or showing an accurate and deep understanding. For example, she has written an insightful account of the modern art world. Means she has written an account of the modern art world with accuracy and deep understanding. Next, he was, of course, very funny and insightful means he was funny and had an understanding of the complicated problems next this may be the most insightful comment the president has ever made means the comment made by president has a deep understanding of the topic he has commented on flattering as an adjective means making someone look or seem better or more attractive than usual if something is flattering it makes you appear more attractive if someone's remarks are flattering they praise you and say nice things about you for example, that suit is very flattering. This means, by wearing this suit, you are looking more attractive and charming than you look in another dress. Next, the article began with some flattering words about us. This means the words, which were written in the article about us, appeared more attractive and praised a lot. Last, they've made me a very flattering offer. This means they have made me a highly attractive offer, and I could not refuse that. So, uh, what brings you here, Mom? Do I need a reason? I'd like one. 
I'm showing a house in Malibu. I thought I'd swing by and take my grandson out for pancakes. Uh, Charlie wants his on his night table. <laughs> what brings you here is a phrase that means, for what reason have you come here? Or, what is your purpose to come here? For example, what brings you around here, John? I feel like I haven't seen you in years. We can use what brings you here, or what brings you around here. Both are common to use. Next. Tom says, hello Mary. What brings you here? Mary says, I was invited just like you. Swing by as a phrasal verb means to go somewhere for a short period of time, especially on your way to another place. For example, I told Paul we would swing by his place around 7.30. This means while going somewhere else, we would go to Paul's place for a while and then move to the target place. Next, just swing by on your way home, okay? Means while going home, just come to my place and then move to your home. Last, while going to Canada from India, I had to swing by China to cut the cost of the fare. I'm showing a house in Malibu. I thought I'd swing by and take my grandson out for pancakes. Uh, Charlie wants his on his night table. <laughs> As you know, English Fluency Mission is highly focused on helping you to get new vocabulary, idioms, and correct pronunciation. To correct your pronunciation, it is important to listen to the words from native speakers. To help you develop the vocabulary fast, we recommend using Amazon Audible, where you will get the first month absolutely free. As per my recommendation, lots of people have already used Audible and they have seen tremendous change in their vocabulary and pronunciation. The main advantage of having Audible is, every month you get one book to listen to, for free, you keep your membership active at a minimal amount. When you read and listen to the book at the same time, then you learn vocabulary very fast. The link to sign up is given in the description below, you may click and sign up, if you like. Go put on some pants, Charlie. But mom, I- Now. <laughs> put on as a phrasal verb means, to move something, you wear onto your body. When you put on clothing or jewelry, you place it on your body to wear it. For example, she has put on her coat and went out. You've also put your shoes on, so we can meet her on time. While using the phrasal verb, we can put the object in the middle like, put your clothes on, and put shoes on etc. And put on clothes, put on shoes are also correct to use. Next, I haven't even put any lipstick on. For applying makeup, we can also use put on. Last, Kim had forgotten to put his watch on. Means, Kim had forgotten to wear his watch. Opposite to this, when we want to remove our clothes, makeup, or jewelry, we can use another phrasal verb, put off. Like put off your clothes or put your clothes off. Go put on some pants, Charlie. But mom, I- Now. <laughs> you have to be firm with him. Firm as an adjective means something that is not soft but not completely hard, in short, to be balanced. Being firm with someone means being strict or unshakable with them. For example, I'd rather sleep on a firm mattress than a soft one. Next. The bed in the hotel was not firm enough. This means the bed was either too soft or too hard. Last. My wife has a firm personality. Means, she is neither too soft nor too hard with people. You have to be firm with him. By the way, your nose is adorable. Thank you. I'm guessing Dr. Shapiro. No, it's mine. Oh. <laughs> Well, sometimes God does good work too. <laughs> we have explained by the way in another video lesson, learn English with Liar Liar. If you want to learn how to use, by the way, with another bunch of vocabulary, you must watch this video lesson. The link for the same is given in the description below and above I button. By the way, <laughs> your nose is adorable. Thank you. I'm guessing Dr. Shapiro. No, it's mine. Oh. <laughs> Well, sometimes God does good work too. <laughs> Adorable as an adjective means charming or attractive, and to whom we can easily love. For example, she has the most adorable two-year-old girl. Next, I have an adorable small puppy. Last, your nose is adorable. Adorable can be used to replace very lovely. This is Stuart. Hello, everyone. He's a, uh, a... Uh, adorable! Adorable! Yeah, that's right. Adorable. Yeah, just, just, just couldn't think of the word. <laughs>